the beast and the advocate wait for it Daniel, say it. We already know your name. This is your name, Ethan. I'm going to get Well, the beast. I have the right to for I am the advocate for the beast of WrestleMania. Brock Lesnar. I also love Dean Ambrose, so... Barbie and Charlie. A chainsaw for crying out loud. I'm a Bobby girl, and good luck, Charlie. <laughs> oh man, those two words kind of remind me of those shows that I, that I used to watch on. But I'm not the one who should be praying about this match at WrestleMania. Terry Funk and Mick Foley and the members of the Asylum should be praying for Dean Ambrose's well-being. Because anything that Dean Ambrose can get his hands on, Brock Lesnar can get his hands on too. And worse for Dean Ambrose, Brock Lesnar can get his hands on Dean Ambrose. But how is he going to do that with... Dean Ambrose having weapons. His massive arms around Dean Ambrose's torso, clasps his fingers, pivots his hips, and takes Dean Ambrose to Sue Plex City at Dallas, Texas. And he ends that torture with an F5. Then, at that moment, the WWE Universe will finally realize that the most dangerous weapon ever implemented in a WWE match is Brock Lesnar himself. Auntie. Well, I finished that one a little bit early. <laughs> I'm sure Boston is through here and needs not my gums. My client is a little bit itchy. So, Dean Ambrose, get your talkers out to this ring right now. Brock Lesnar wants to fight right here, right now, tonight. Oh, that's going to happen tonight. That is going to happen tonight. 
Awesome, that will be awesome. And you know what? Dean Ambrose is just an idiot enough to come out here. Bray Wyatt? Oh my god. This is ridiculous. I didn't expect this at all. Why are the Wyatts here? The Wyatt family. Still. What? There's a history here between the Wyatts and Brock. And the Wyatts eliminated Brock Lesnar from the Royal Rumble. Took away his opportunity to be WWE World Heavyweight Champion. Maybe why there's a, a gleam in the eye of... Wait, is Luke Harper with them? No. The smile on his face that he Oh, gee. Are they still having that rivalry? What they have at Roadblock? I'd like taking care of a little unfinished business in B Town. Oh, great. Wait, is that hair on Eric Rowan's mask? What the heck? Oh, great. Now comes to 2 1 assault. Oh great, no, it's the Wyatt clan except Luke Harper. Brock! Whatever you do! These three monsters, Brock, they've been off a little more Whatever you do. This may not be good for for the peace. Here comes the Lunatic Venture and the White Clan! It's a German suplex! Oh no! Close line! Ah, kendo stick! I tell you, Dean Ambrose has a kendo stick. Oh! Suplex! To Braun Strowman! Oh! Kendo stick! Kendo sticks! Fighting to Brock! <laughs> Ow! Close line to Brock! No, close line to Dean. I'm sorry. Oh! Oh, jeez! Breaks a kendo stick and ha! Oh no, it comes for an F5! F5! To Dean Ambrose! Oh, wow! Well, goes for the attack of the Wyatt clan, and now Dean Ambrose. A special breed of man built to destroy and brought to the players. Wow. We won't know if Ambrose is still standing at WrestleMania. Well, if it's night. Kendo sticks, kendo sticks. And the clothesline, oh my gosh. And now. Hardcore legends, Jerry Funk and Mick Foley, gave Dean Ambrose extreme equalizers. He's going to need everything in his arsenal. 